So if you follow me on any of my social medias, you will know that I just got back from a Germany tour. It was a pretty amazing tour. The, the venues were all churches, so the acoustics were amazing. In general, um, the tour was fantastic. I'm gonna put some pictures up on videos of just like, what an amazing time I had. <laughs> someone who really enjoys performing live so for me being able to tour and play my music live is all an up <laughs> it's a big old up and then you get this sort of like after tour blues where you feel like I've just worked so so hard on like promoting this and planning this and then now it's over it's really a, it's really a downer <laughs> now unfortunately I had some very uh, specific downers on this tour um, because a couple of terrible things happened <laughs> um, as you might have seen on my social media I was nearly arrested uh, that <laughs> was because I was playing with an amplifier in the German street, which is illegal, apparently. And, uh, yeah, um, I guess I just thought it would be okay because there was a guy playing the drums, like, not too far away. So I was like, well, there's obviously not a sound issue here. Like, this guy's playing the drums. So I, uh, played with an amplifier in Germany. This police officer stopped me playing and I was like, oh, sorry, didn't know. I'll just pack up. And he was like, no, you have to come with us. And like, I don't know what my rights are in Germany. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't speak the language. It wasn't a very pleasant experience, to be honest. I'm laughing about it now, but it was really frightening and uh, really not very nice. I will make another video about this actually, to be honest. And we'll, uh, but in the end, they decided not to find me. They just confiscated some of my equipment, which is really inconvenient. <laughs> and speaking of uh, losing some of my equipment, I also had my bag stolen um, from the hotel. Uh, you know when you check out of a hotel and then you leave your bag in the luggage room? Someone stole my bag. My camera that I use for making YouTube videos, my microphone that I use for um, home recording. I was writing some new songs and I wanted to get them demoed and so I brought that with me and it was all in the bag so that's been stolen and um, pretty gutted about it yeah <laughs> and I'm actually recording this on my phone if you've noticed the quality is poor. I've lost my uh, Nikon D5100 that I've had for years and used for all of my YouTube videos for the last like seven years. Also, yeah, this is why I'm sitting in this, I'm not even sitting properly on my bed because if I sit on my bed then I'm too like far away from you so I'm just trying to like get a good angle so I'm basically sitting on the edge of my bed here which is just hard and uncomfortable so that I can get like an angle that actually works so that I can tell you about um, being robbed. <laughs> and that is again a bit of a, of a tour downer because you know if I'd just been at home that never would have happened. You know, I mean you don't know my house could have been broken into but in general yeah when you go out on the road you're sort of more vulnerable to things like theft 
and these things do unfortunately happen and it happened to me <laughs> uh, yeah so a bit guided about that to be honest yeah and the other thing lastly is uh, which is not touring's fault at all my my laptop also decided to stop working while I was away and so I couldn't get it fixed because I was away and I like I was like I'm gonna have to take this to the Apple store in London and get it fixed and I'm gonna have to buy a new one so uh, <laughs> even though my tour was really really good and really successful and profitable pretty much all of the money that I've made on tour will have to go to a new laptop, a new camera, a new microphone. And uh, it's just really gutting for an independent artist to have made some money for once <laughs> and then have all this like output. I feel like the police could have spent a little bit more time arresting people who were stealing bags from hotel rooms than arresting girls who were just trying to sing pretty songs on the street. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm falling off the bed, so bye. Right. record the first minute or so of every hour of this whole day. Wait, what? It's for a video. You're going to wake up at every 1am, 2am? No, I'll just record us asleep. Oh. I, I do not give my consent. Uh, <laughs>